the Arctic cold front has blanketed nearly all of Texas by now. The freeze can be considered the worst that some Texans have seen since the disaster last February. It's causing unique challenges for each corner of the state. Ryan Chandler shows us how Texans from Amarillo to Brownsville are weathering the storm. Across Texas, 30 million bracing for a hard freeze. In the panhandle, brutal wind chills plunging as low as negative 30. That front barreling down to Lubbock, causing some of the first infrastructure failures. About 1,300 people briefly without power Thursday morning as the West Texas winds blow down power poles. And single digit temps bust water lines, covering the streets in ice. And far west in El Paso, a humanitarian crisis, making the shortfall of shelter and heat all the more urgent. Initial capacity is being set up at 1,000. We have the, the, the room to expand. The reason why we didn't expand from the get-go, because we don't know what the population is truly going to bring. Officials scrambling to find shelter for people seeking asylum, but for many, a warm welcome comes only from a desperate fire on the banks of the border. Far from the border, major metros like Austin and Houston also working to give their neighbors without shelter a warm night's sleep. They had to go into wooded areas because they couldn't really be out in the public. The best thing that we can do to prepare for these weather emergencies is to make sure that fewer people are experiencing homelessness, that they're not on the streets. The danger is not just for people. Texans and Tyler taking extra care for their livestock. We have to make sure that the pipes we have feeding the water troughs don't break. And in Brownsville. Worries about the deadly side effects of desperation. Always use your generators outside the structure. Never put your generator inside the garage or near a home. The most dangerous gas that's out there 